my best friend, we he lived on a cabin by the river kind of deal, right? And so in high school and stuff, when we wasn't out, we'd go over to his house, and he had he actually had a canoe a canoe rental service. Canoe, canoe, canoe. He had a canoe rental service, so he had all these canoes checking out. So it'd be like eight of us or so load up, get in these canoes, and go down the river and spend a night on a sandbar. It was awesome. The first time we did it, and it was kind of it, w- it was awesome for them. It wasn't so much as awesome for me. They were in canoes, and I was in an inner tube because it sounded like a great idea, and it is a great idea if everyone else is in an inner tube. What happens? is if everyone is not in an inner tube, they will run off and leave you. If you've ever been in an inner tube or you've been in like in a lake or something like that, you see like the stuff like floating on the water. I was getting passed by that four hour trip and it can turn it into like an eight and nine and 10 hour trip. Six hour trip if you really bow up at it and like, 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 <laughs> like, like paddle and jump, I don't know. It can be done quicker, but the, the, if you figure out how to do it, let me know. Anyway, I'm playing catch up the entire trip. We make it to the sandbar, they set up camp, we're chilling out there. The sun goes down, you got the creek running, and it's really nice. We got the campfire going. Two of my friends made a tent and they were chilling in that. I had one friend that had a mosquito net thing and he's late, he's gonna sleep in one of the canoes. I'm in the inner tube with a boat paddle and a life jacket stuck behind me. So that's what I'm gonna sleep under, right? You know, why not? We're sitting around the campfire and we're telling stories. One of my friends who's sitting directly across from me he looks over and his eyes get really big. He jumps up and he runs off. And he's like swatting at his head, screaming and cursing, and he just runs off. We're like, hey, okay, what was that about? Then the friend sitting next to him does pretty much the same thing. His eyes light up and he looks directly at me. He wouldn't even do it like that. It was more like, and then he jumped up, slapping his head, screaming and cursing and ran off. They said they thought it was somebody slapping the back of their head. They had like, you know, shaved heads, right? So they thought it was like, they thought it was me because I used to play jokes on them where I'd like, you know, smack them on the head because it's, it was, it's, it's a head, you know, you smack it and it's like all like smooth and junk and it makes that. <laughs> so they, once they realized it was not a person, they freaked out and they ran off. Uh, they finally got up enough courage to come back and sit back down. And then it happens to uh, the first one again. He gets up and runs off. And when, as he does, you see like this thing, like come and dive bomb down like that. And then you couldn't really tell what it was because it was in the dark. All you could see was the campfire. It kind of dive bombed. It started dive bombing the campfire. And me being the weirdo that I am, I had a, a machete that I said, soup. And when it went down that one time, I threw it and it caught it and pinned it into the fire and it burned up. And we don't know what it was. It was some kind of creature. We just refer to it as death moth. Now that happened. Given a little bit of closure in what little broadcasting career I had, I was working on a film set on the uh, on the coast. We were filming at night and we had these giant lights that were up. And as we started filming, there was these these bugs that were flying in there. We called them Katie Dids or Katie Dids accent, you know. That they were like, they jump up and they fly and they like run into stuff and like knock it down. Like we have these uh, we call them apple boxes, but it's like a shoe box made of wood. And you use it to like sit stuff on or like uh, prop stuff up on. And they just use it for multi- multiple purposes. I saw one of them fly into that and knock it down and then fly off again. Now, you could see them every now and then if you was like, in, if you wasn't quite in the light, like, because you have like this, like these street light, like kind of things. I was like chilling back with a second camera operator and I was kind of watching some of this unfold. And I saw this dude and he's like standing there talking to these two ladies. He's trying to look like he's cool and stuff. Like, he's like, yeah, like, like, like doing it like that. And one of those things went and it got in his hair and he started just, just doing in that thing where he's screaming and cussing and he runs off and they couldn't see it. It was kind of funny on my part, my part, because that brought back memories of the death moth. And I think that might have actually been what it was. I can't confirm that, but it did kind of look like it. So yeah, got attacked by death moth. That happened. So if you're camping in the woods around a campfire, bring a machete. Boop.